24 hours out of LA. I should be sleeping, I haven't slept at all. My eyes go, oh, eyes, bloodshot, that's hell. I don't know if I'm gonna get any sleep. I better try. I'm gonna be really wretched, but I'm gonna kill the person on the seat behind me. And I'll tell you more about that when I'm in a position to scream. G'day viewers. Well, I made it alive to the US of A. I'm safely ensconced in my hotel room fighting off jet lag. Uh, a local YouTuber is about to take me out and keep me awake for about six hours so I can go to sleep at night time, local time, not in the afternoon, and wake up at 1am and be all messed up tomorrow as well. Now, I didn't think I'd make any angry videos while I was here. I was basically going to be a tourist and meeting people and having a bit of fun. <laughs> I'm going to tell you what happened on the flight, okay? Have you ever been on a flight and you get some kid behind you who just keeps kicking the back of your chair and when you turn around and say, stop that, they say, what, I won't do nothing. Well, that happened to me, except the kid was a fucking crazy 45 year old woman. And I mean, she was fucking mental. You'd be proud of me, viewers. I was really polite. When it got too far, like apparently because I had the audacity to lean my seat back a bit, you know, like you're allowed to because they do that. She's just like, kick, 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 kick. And I thought, right, okay. And I turned around and I was just going to go, stop that, you fucking idiot. But I thought, no, I'm going to be cool because she seemed a bit worked up. She had actually had a flight, not a flight, a fight, a fight with a flight attendant a bit earlier because he was smiling. Because she was carrying on like a pork chop to someone while he was handing out drinks. And then she had to go at him for smiling. So I joined him with a chorus of people who said we actually liked his smile. And then she started kicking my chair again. And I was going to go off at her, but I thought, no, reach out a branch of friendship. And I actually said, hey, do you reckon there's any reason we can't be friends? I'm actually a pretty nice guy, and we should be friends. And she was just doing this, going, ew, no, 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 get away from me, what are you doing? And I went, well, stop kicking my chair. I didn't do anything, I didn't do anything. And I was like, what are you, 45 or 4? What the fuck is going on here? And she's going, I wasn't doing anything. I wasn't doing anything. And I was like, seriously, you need to stop that because I'm not going to put up with it. Ew, I wasn't doing anything. I wasn't doing anything. Like a fucking child. Just with a, I wasn't doing anything. So I thought, fuck this bitch. When she kept doing it, I just buzzed for a flight attendant. And I said, look, there's a clinically insane woman sitting behind me. She just kick, 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 kick. And then she sits there going, I'm not doing anything. Can you do something about her? Because... <laughs> <laughs> it was making me a bit angry and you know an international flight is not a good place to lose your shit and so the flight attendant basically told her to stop and even yeah you know, said she could move a seat and not have this issue and you, I could just hear the bitch going oh I didn't realize I didn't realize I didn't realize and the Americans I'm just gonna say this no I don't care how shit it sounds to the rest of the world, obnoxious behaviour seems worse when it's done in an American accent. There, I said it. I said it, and which is by no stretch of the imagination saying Americans are obnoxious, but I'm telling you how it feels to the rest of the world, obnoxious behaviour seems worse with an American accent. But anyway, so she tells the flight attendant she's not going to do it anymore. And the flight attendant goes away, and bitch actually leans forward and goes, and oh, you had to snitch on me, you had to wrap me out, is that what you like to do? And I just thought, you really are a fucking child, behaving like that. <laughs> and I restrained myself, because what I wanted to say is, no, actually, calling a flight attendant was not my first thought. My first thought was to go back there and snap your fucking neck like a twig. So, ha, huh, lucky I didn't do that. I'm expecting my interactions with Americans to improve from this point on. Catch you later.